In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They took his bruised and broken body down from the cross. He was covered in blood. They laid him in my arms as I wept. I thought of him as a baby cradled there when Joseph and I took him to the temple to give thanks for his birth. Simeon said a sword would pierce my heart. The pain I felt today was worse than a sword. I wished that I were dead, that he might be alive. If anyone keeps my word, he will never see death. Those were his words. But today I have seen death, his death. And yet, Father, let it be according to thy word. We offer this station for all the bereaved, especially mothers who mourn the loss of a child. Remember, O Lord, all your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and now rest in the sleep of peace. According to your promises, grant to all who rest in Christ refreshment, light and peace. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with some sour wine and put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come and take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. We offer this station for those who are incurably ill and dying and those who care for them.
Lord Jesus, you died on the cross and entered into the bleakest of all circumstances. Give courage to those who are facing death and those who walk alongside them. In death you entered into the darkest of all places. Illume our darkness with your glorious presence. To you, Jesus, your lifeless body hanging on the tree of shame, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus on the cross, his mother and his friend. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to John. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. We offer this station for those who have experienced broken relationships and for the isolated. The mother laments. Standing in that vicious place, stench so acrid on her tearing face, his mother wept below the cross, lamenting, how is it possible for me not to mourn my son, my whole being overwhelmed, seeing you naked there and hung like a criminal impaled upon a tree. You hang so high above my head on that rugged, splintered wood, gasping breath, suffering, nearly dead. You are no longer my tender infant, nuzzling to my breast. In splendid birth, little helpless one, you were only mine. As you slept on my chest, tiny mouth, crying, soothed with warm milk, a hug, and my soul's lullabies. Now you moan, piercing my heart, no way to ease your groan. Woe, my heart, my heart is torn with grief, unjustly pierced. I'm haunted by gulls, circling over the spot of Adam's skull. You, the man I hoped would be king, hangs condemned. So are you, my son, I'm seeing. Oh, my beloved son, where has your surpassing beauty gone? If you suffer and die, can you come to see me again? Must you go down to Hades, that place of death, for Adam and Eve going only where dead have been? Oh, how will I conquer my pain? Will I not mourn, weeping in my house with you in the tomb? Breath gone, body limp and spirit torn, not the pulsing life I felt in my womb. Eyes reddened, silent, struggling to stand. Beloved friend called, then took her hand. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved waiting there, he whispered to his mother, Woman, behold your son, and to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from there they went home, two of them alone. Lord Jesus, your mother and your dearest friend stayed with you to the bitter end, yet even while wrapped with pain you ministered to them. Be with all broken families today and care for those who long for companionship. You cared for your loved ones even in your death throes. Give us a love for one another which is stronger even than the fear of death. To you, Jesus, loving in the face of death, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus promises the kingdom to the penitent thief. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. 
because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. One of the criminals who was hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. We offer this station to those who have lost all hope of redemption. We pray for all who have been found guilty and are currently serving a prison sentence. We pray for all who have been sentenced to death. We pray for all who suffer under the weight of guilt doubting that their mistakes and faults can be redeemed through Christ's love. Lord Jesus, even in your deepest agony, you listen to the crucified thief. Hear us as we unburden to you our deepest fears. You spoke words of love in your hour of death. Help us to speak words of life to a dying world. To you, Jesus, who offers hope to the hopeless, the honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. And they crucified him and divided his clothes among them cast in lots to decide what each should take. We offer this station for those who suffer alone. Lord Jesus, you bled in pain as the nails were driven into your flesh. Transform through the mystery of your love the pain of those who suffer. To you, Jesus, our crucified Lord, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. But weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, 
what will happen when it is dry. We offer this station for women all over the world and their seen and unseen struggles. Jesus, the women of Jerusalem wept for you. Move us to tears at the plight of the broken in our world. You embrace the pain of those suffering inequality. Bless all who suffer this day and lead them to the path of profound peace. To you, Jesus, the King of peace who wept for the city of peace, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the gospel according to Mark. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. We offer this station for all those carrying burdens Lord Jesus, we bring to you the burden of our exploitation of your creation carried by so many who have become victims of natural disasters. Lord Jesus, we bring you the burden carried by women and children who are and have been victims of abuse and violence. Lord Jesus, we bring you the burden carried by those who have experienced injustice and abuse at the hands of the church. Lord Jesus, you carried the cross through the rough streets of Jerusalem. Be with those who are loaded with burdens beyond their strength. You bore the weight of our sins when you carried the cross. Help us to realise the extent and the cost of your love for us. To you, Jesus, bearing a cross not your own, the honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, 
they put it on him and they began saluting him. Hail, King of the Jews. They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him and knelt down in homage to him. We offer this station for all who suffer torture and persecution for the sake of their faith in God. Lord Jesus, you face the torment of barbaric punishment and mocking tongue. Be with those who cry out in physical agony and emotional distress. You endured unbearable abuse. Be with those who face torture and mockery in our world today. To you, Jesus, the King crowned with thorns, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is judged. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. my son condemned to death. The same Jesus who was visited as a child by wise men from distant countries, bringing gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. The child whose birth was heralded by angels, who was to be the light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of Israel, now rejected by his own people and condemned to death by a Gentile ruler. I do not receive glory from men. He once said, I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. How could this be? It seems incomprehensible. What had gone wrong? And yet, somehow, I knew that it must be God's will, and I prayed and followed him. Father, let it be according to your word. We offer this station for all prisoners of conscience at this time. Lord Jesus, you were condemned to death for political expediency. Be with those who are imprisoned for the convenience of the powerful. You were the victim of unbridled injustice. Change the minds and motivations of oppressors and exploiters to your way of peace. To you, Jesus, innocent though condemned, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Peter denies Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. At that moment the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said to him. Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And then he broke down and wept. We offer this station for all of us as we struggle to live for Christ. And now we're going to read a poem by Daniel Didwell called For the Feast of St. Peter. Let yourself be led where you do not want to go, fingers stained by scent of nets, toes wrinkled with decades of sea, taxes paid in coin from mouth of carp. What other apostle is prepared 
to witness such divine profanity. Sheet slung low and full, with hooves and claw and feathers, would any of us know ourselves so well, if the voice of heaven commanded? Call no thing unclean which I have made holy. Perhaps, like me, you believe you should say, Lord, this can never be. And before the cock crows a final time, you may be asked to deny your own division of crawfish and pigeon. Perhaps you will not know what to do, but go out upon the waters, throw in your line and wait to be overwhelmed with fishes. So when you crawl, hauling your catch through surf, unclothed, be ready for the animal question. Do you love who you say that I am? Lord Jesus, as Peter betrayed you, you experienced the double agony of love rejected and friendship denied. Be with those who know no friends and are rejected by society. You understood the fear within Peter. Help us to understand the anxieties of those who fear for their future. To you, Jesus, who gazed with sadness at your lost friend, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus is betrayed by Judas and arrested. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Immediately while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when they came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. We offer this station to those who have been betrayed or unjustly treated, and for families caught up in cycles of violence and crime. A long time ago, so I have been told, two mothers once met on streets paved with gold. By the stars in your crown, said one to the other, I see that on earth you too were a mother. And by the blue tinted halo you wear, you too have known sorrow and deepest despair. Ah yes, she replied, I once had a son, a sweet little lad full of laughter and fun. But tell of your child. Oh, I knew I was blessed from the moment I first held him close to my breast. And my heart almost burst with the joy of that day. Ah yes, said the other, I felt the same way. The former continued, the first steps he took, so eager and breathless, the sweet startled look which came over his face, he trusted me so. Ah yes, said the other, how well do I know. But soon he had grown to a tall handsome boy, so stalwart and kind, and it gave much joy. To have him just walk down the street by my side. Ah yes, said the other mother, I felt the same pride. How often I shielded and spared him from pain. And when he for others was so cruelly slain, when they crucified him and spat in his face, how gladly I would have hung there in his place. A moment of silence. Oh, then you are she. 
the mother of Christ, and she fell on one knee. But the blessed one raised her up, drawing her near, and kissed from the cheek of the woman a tear. Tell me the name of the son you love so, that I may share with your grief and your woe. She lifted her eyes, looking straight at the other. He was Judas Iscariot. I am his mother. Lord Jesus, you were betrayed by the kiss of a friend. Be with those who are betrayed and slandered and falsely accused. You know the experience of having your love thrown back into your face for mere silver. Be with families which are torn apart by mistrust or temptation. To you, Jesus, who offered your face to your betrayer, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Jesus in agony in the garden of Gethsemane. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated, and he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. We offer this station for those who feel hopeless.
Lord Jesus, you entered the garden of fear and faced the agony of your impending death. Be with those who share this agony and face death unwillingly this day. You shared our fear and knew the weakness of our humanity. Give strength and hope to the dispirited and despairing. To you, Jesus, who sweated blood, the honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ was manifested in the body, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among the nations, believed in throughout the world, glorified in high heaven. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We join our prayers with Mary, Mother of God, as we greet her, saying, Hail Mary, full of sorrow, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of Compassion, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. <laughs>